Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Um, I'm coming to you today with a really, really highly requested video, which is my skincare routine. After looking at all the footage that I had done for this, because I did go really in depth, I thought it was best just to go and put this into two parts. So in today's video, we are gonna have my morning skincare routine. I explain a lot about um, the different ingredients and stuff. And then in the next video, which I'll have posted either by the end of the week or next week, um, it will be more on masks, overnight treatments, serums, things like that there, and also my nighttime routine, which just has a few different extra products in there. So if you like the sound of this video, then please stay tuned. There is so much amazing information for everybody to learn from, and I hope you really, really enjoy it. Don't forget to please like, subscribe, share the video and also give me a little comment. I just wanted to give a little bit of a disclaimer. I am by no means a skincare expert. I um, have learned all this myself either from YouTube videos, asking friends, you know, who are into skincare or um, just by Googling things and working things out for myself. And also I just listen to my skin. If I'm overdoing it, then I will give myself a little break. I'll really scale back my routine. And if I, you know, need to fix a problem, whether it be dryness, flakiness, um, too much oil, my pores are looking a little bit too big, whatever it is, then I will do the necessary treatments as well for that. So the first thing I always do in the morning is take some water, just have a glass of water. I'll either drink the water that I have left from the night before or I'll go get myself a fresh glass of water. Um, just literally chug it, it's so easy. My skin type, for anybody wondering, is um, sort of combination to oily. As you can see, there is a bit of shine on my forehead. And this is the reason why I wanted to come on to you in the morning time before I have applied my skincare, my morning routine, or my, like went to the shower and cleansed off my face. So this is how my skin looks after waking up from bed. As you can see, there is some shine on my forehead and there's a bit of shine on my cheeks, but my skin tone looks really even, looks really hydrated, and my lips don't look dry or chapped because I put on my lip slipper mask last night as well. So yeah, just wanted to show you what this looks like before I go and apply my skincare for the day. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Okay, so I am not long out of the shower and um, whenever I'm in the shower, I do my morning cleanse. So this is just a light cleanse to take off, you know, any sort of um, residual skincare from the night before as well. It's obviously you've been sleeping in bed, so um, you've been rubbing your face all over the shop. So it's always good just to give your skin a little cleanse in the morning. The cleanser I use is the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Smoothing Cleanser. So this is a really good um, salicylic acid treatment if you don't like a leave-on treatment whenever it comes to salicylic acid. I love salicylic acid because it's really good for um, exfoliating the skin, it's good in regards to oiliness, um, tightening pores, there's so many good properties for salicylic acid but I know for some people it can be abrasive if you are on the drier side. So this is also a really good um, cleanser if you like the idea of salicylic acid to exfoliate and you know resurface the skin um, because you can actually use this for dry rough bumpy skin so it is a good one for both oily and dry skin and um, it also includes um, three essential ceramides as well as hyaluronic acid so there is a bit of hydration in this cleanser as well which is good on top of the salicylic acid to exfoliate. Salicylic acid is something that I use daily so I do use for my cleanser both morning and night I do use a salicylic acid cleanser um, and as well, um, sometimes I do use a salicylic treatment throughout the week just to sort of maintain the oiliness and um, also keep my skin nice and smooth and try to minimise pores as best as possible. So the CeraVe cleanser is retail at £12, so it's a really good affordable drugstore cleanser. You get a decent amount of product, there's 236 milliliters, which is a pretty big cleanser um, for the price. So it'll definitely last you a really, really long time. I use this every morning and I've had it for probably about a month now and, you know, I haven't even got a quarter of the bottle. So yeah, really, really good price for what you get um, and it's just loved by everybody. So couldn't recommend this one enough. So the next thing I'm going to use is the Vichy Mineral 89 Fortifying and Plumping Booster. This is just a daily hyaluronic acid serum. Um, it's a great way to start off your skincare routine. Um, so whenever you are doing your skincare, if you are using a hyaluronic acid treatment, you want to make sure you're using it first because it is 
basically a product that is going to draw all of the moisture from the air and your surroundings to really hydrate the skin but it's also going to pull all your other products down and it further into the deepest layers of your skin to really get the most out of your products. So you always want to apply your hyaluronic acid to damp skin so I'm just going to go in with a little hydrating mist. So this is the vitamin E spray just from Superdrug. It's a really nice one as well. Um, I love this one especially for makeup but yeah so I'm going to go in with the Vichy now so I take about two pumps and um, I find that's enough for me and what I need and I'm just going to run that in the back of my hands and then just press that into the skin. Um, this is a really lovely lightweight serum for me because my skin is on the oilier side I really want to make sure that if I am using several products that they layer nicely and they're all really, really lightweight, um, just because I don't want to overdo it with my skin. So yeah, that just sunk straight in. I did try to use three pumps one time, but it was just too much for my skin. Um, and I just find it took a little bit longer to, um, to actually absorb into the skin. The Vichy Serum is normally £30, but with my code with Look Fantastic, you can save 20% and you can get it for 24 So that's really good saving. Um, this is obviously a little bit more of an expensive serum. There is plenty of hyaluronic acid serums that are more affordable. Some that come to mind are the Q&A one. That's a really good one if you're on the oilier side. Hyaluronic acid serum from The Ordinary. It's a good one if you're on the drier side. And the Inky List one is sort of an all-rounder and they're all affordable as well. I just like this one the best. Next thing I'm going to use is the Niacinamide serum from The Ordinary. So this is the Niacinamide 10% with zinc 1%. Being honest, I don't know what the zinc does, but I do know that the niacinamide is just a wonder product. So I take roughly, I sort of squeeze about that much into the pipette and then I take about half of that. That seems to be enough for me. And if I feel like I need a little bit more, then I'll get a little bit more. You'd never want to use too much products whenever you're layering because you're going to end up just overdoing it with your skin. You're going to purge out a lot of the product and you're going to be left feeling like really oily looking or just really dead greasy. Um, so less is more and also you just get more out of your products. So a little bit about niacinamide. So it's just a wonder product. Um, it brightens the skin, it improves the skin's texture over time, um, it's really good for fighting off acne, blemishes, all that sorts of things and all over, over time as well it'll actually start to prevent you getting fresh blemishes and acne. Now this is just in my experience personally, it definitely evens the skin tone um, and as well I find that um, it sort of balances out my oiliness a little bit um so yeah it's just a wonder product i absolutely love it especially for the skin texture moment like honestly your skin just feels so much better your 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 skin just appears smoother i picked up the niacinamide serum in the super size so there's 60 mils of product in this the super size is roughly about nine pound on the internet and um, the original size which is 30 mils is about five pound so if you're wanting to try this out then get the smaller bottle but if you are a lover of this product then definitely get the super size because you're saving a bit of money there so the next thing i'm going to use is the polyglutamic acid serum from the inky list the Inky List is another really affordable brand. It's a UK based brand. They are absolutely fantastic. So I love this because it sort of seals in everything that we just done. So your hyaluronic acid, it pulls all your products further down into the skin. It takes all the moisture from the air to hydrate your skin. Polyglutamic acid basically makes sure that you don't have any moisture loss. So all that moisture that you're bringing into the skin, all that hydration you're bringing into the skin, it stays there. So I take about one and a half pumps of this. I absolutely love the smell of this as well. Um, and it is a bit of a thicker consistency. So I just rub that into the palms of my hands. And again, just press that into the skin to get on the neck. Try not to sound like a turkey whenever you're doing that. <laughs> um, and then just press, 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 press. So I absolutely love this product. It's very, very lightweight and I feel like everybody needs this regardless if you're oily, normal, dry, whatever. It's just an amazing product. And the Inky List also says that everyone else needs it. So usually they're quite good at telling you if this is for dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, they say with this product, everybody needs it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty 
niacinamide brightening eye cream. So this is a gorgeous little product here. Um, it's kind of like a bridge between makeup and skincare. Um, it does have a bit of a tint to it. Um, and it also has these like shimmer particles in it. I don't know what they'd be doing, but I absolutely love it. So it's a thicker eye cream. And I have found that with this eye cream, as well as my little solution that I used earlier on, it really just does wonders for my under eye. Like, I really feel like since using these two products, my under eyes have never looked better. So I do think I have quite dark circles underneath my eyes. Um, so this little tint really does help to detract from that, which I quite like. So I'm just rubbing a little bit of that underneath my eyes. Um, the shimmer particles that are in it, I guess, sort of deflect attention and sort of diffuse that darkness and also just gives your skin a little bit of a glow because you're sort of popping it in the high point. So it's kind of like highlighter in a way, I guess. I don't know. Um, this product isn't the most favorably reviewed from what I've seen um, on Look Fantastic. It's about three and a half stars, but there's only four reviews and the two main complaints are that it has the shimmer in it. Um, it's very, very, very slight. Um, I don't mind it at all, I actually quite like it, but it's not for everybody. The little bit of tint that it does have as well, it might not be for everybody. Um, maybe you don't want to tint to your eye cream, but I do like the fact that it does have a little bit of the, the teeniest, tiniest bit of coverage and um, just to brighten up my under eyes. And again, it is a nice and my eye cream, so it does brighten up that area as well over time. It's also um, with no fragrance as well, so it's not irritating to the eyes. I find that even whenever I've like given my eyes a good rub, um, like maybe there's like leftover makeup or something the night from the night before, um, the next morning whenever I put this on, it doesn't irritate my eyes, if that makes sense. Um, I only use this one during the day though, because there is that tent, there's no point in using it during the night. My moisturizer, it's the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer from the Glow Recipe. I absolutely love this moisturizer. I take about two and a half pumps of that, go into the palms of my hands, and just rub that all into my skin. So I do my eye cream before my moisturizer because I just wanna make sure that it is getting the best shot possible. And then because I'm rubbing a matte moisturizer, it's sort of diffusing those little pearls that little bit more. So, oh. <laughs> so this moisturizer is very, very lightweight. It has a really beautiful natural scent um, of watermelon. It's so refreshing and cooling on the skin. Um, it just does wonders. It is designed for normal to combination skin, like combination oily. Um, so I definitely find that this is a really, really gorgeous, lightweight moisturizer. Um, it gives you a lovely glow, even if you are oily, um, and it doesn't look too over the top, and it immediately sinks into the skin. So I cannot say enough good things about this. And then the last product that I use in the morning is the Laneige Lip Sleep Mask. So obviously it's a sleeping mask, but it's my favorite lip balm. I will wear this day and night. Bury me in this lip balm, honestly. Um, it just really hydrates the skin. Um, it's really nourishing and it's quite a thick lip balm, but it doesn't feel like gloopy on the skin. So it's just really comfortable, lasts for hours, and it really, really does hydrate the lips. I literally maybe use this once more throughout the day before I go to use it again at night time. I just can't get enough of this. So yeah, as you can see from my skincare routine, it's all about smoothing the skin, improving the skin texture, a little bit of glow, but um, also managing like oily combination skin. And that completes my morning portion of my skincare routine. Stay tuned for the next video um, where I'll be talking about masks as well as showing you my nighttime skincare routine. It's quite similar to my daytime, but there is a few um, different products that I use as well. So I just thought I'd add in the, the mask section just to give you something else. So um, yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And if you want to follow me anywhere else, if you don't already follow me, my Instagram and TikTok are both Ryan X Hamilton. Um, and that's it. Bye guys.